Have you ever been told dress for the job you want, not the job you have? I was recently listening to the book Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon and this idea popped up. At first, I didn't give this statement a second thought, but as time went on, I couldn't shake this idea out of my head. Dress for the job you want not the job you have. What exactly does that mean? And how can changing your attire change the outcome of your current career endeavor? In today's video, we're going to attempt to answer that exact question. And in the process of searching for that answer, also examine what it means to become timeless. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew Wadadu, it's nice to meet you. Let's talk about the power of clothing. The idea of dressing for the job you want and not the job you have is a simple idea rooted in self-esteem. Self-esteem is defined as confidence in one's own worth and abilities. And what you believe about the clothes you wear is directly related to your personal self-esteem and confidence as an individual. We've all experienced that boost in self-esteem when we're wearing items of clothing that we believe to be good or we believe that we look good in. For me, I personally feel the most confident after I get a haircut and when I'm wearing an outfit that I think just looks fly. To me, like... If I have two of those things going on at the same time, I feel like my superpowers are on 10. What you wear and what you believe about what you wear sends signals to the people around you and sends signals to your subconscious mind. We believe what we tell ourselves. And in the case of fashion, the idea behind dressing for the job you want is all about taking initiative on the life that you want to live through one very specific controllable decision. That decision is, what we decide to wear. Now, of course, just because you decide to wear a suit and tie or an evening gown, it does not mean that tomorrow you'll end up being the next president of whatever country that you're living in right now. Dressing for the job you want is all about taking tangible action to begin to change your mentality about what you are striving for. And there are endless things that we all are constantly striving for, whether that be getting a particular job, living in a particular city, or being associated with a particular group of people. To believe in oneself and to wear clothing that exemplifies that belief is powerful. Now, before we move on, a big inspiration for this video is wanting to talk about well-being and self-worth. And one of the best ways to positively impact your personal well-being is by listening to your favorite audiobooks and podcasts, on Audible. Maintaining your mental health is just as important as maintaining your physical health. Whether it's diving into a new self-help title or just taking the time to listen to a science fiction title. And as a member, you're allotted the ability to choose one title a month at no additional cost from a wide selection of bestsellers and new releases. Visit www.audible.com slash Drew J. It'll also be linked down in the description. Or text Drew J to 500-500 to get started with Audible for free. The idea of timelessness in fashion is one of the most interesting concepts for the industry. Timelessness is defined as having no beginning or end. And timelessness typically refers to that of which is unending, something or someone that is ever enduring. Usually, when I think about timelessness in fashion, I'm thinking about the garments or the styles that have stood the test of time. Items like denim jeans, oxfords, blazers, and heels. These items just feel timeless to me. But I don't think building a timeless wardrobe is something that is actually achievable from a contemporary fashion standpoint or from a modern fashion standpoint. To become timeless, I think it's less about owning particular pieces and more so about the ideas your clothes represent. Denim, for example, is a timeless fabric because it has shape-shifted in use case from generation to generation. From being worn and being used as the quintessential garment for gold miners in the 1800s, fast forwarding to the 50s when denim was a representative of rebellion and a rebellious youth movement that was taking place to now where there are so many use cases for denim that have so many different variations. It's a pure example of that shape-shifting taking place. And it's a good example of how the ideas that we hold about particular garments is what makes them timeless, more so than the actual fabric material or specific type of piece that's being made at any given time. Denim is a really good example because denim, while it is timeless, especially denim jeans, dungarees, 
they have changed significantly over time. They have moved with the times, right? They aren't the same as they were back in the 1800s or the early 19th century, or excuse me, the early 20th century. And that's important for timelessness as well. I think in fashion, the definition that we hold for timelessness doesn't really hold up for the fashion industry because clothes change over time. No matter how authentic a garment is from the 1600s, it just won't look the same in 2024. There's going to be some variable changes, which is the opposite of timelessness. But the ideas that represent the clothing, those are the things that maintain over the years, over the generation. When you embody these ideals, the clothes you wear become literally wrapped up in the manifestation of the ideas that you represent. That's why something like Black Ivy or Punk Styles have such an irrefutably timeless feel and look to them. In layman's terms, in order to become timeless within the context of fashion, you have to embody timeless ideas. Ideas such as justice, peace, freedom. These are ideas that I feel like no matter what stage of humanity may look back on, these ideas will resonate with the human beings of the past and of the future. And that is in and of itself more in line with timelessness than a specific piece, a pair of shoes or a particular jacket. Those things are fleeting, but the ideas behind those things and what clothing represents as an ideal, those things are truly timeless. Oof. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Was it something that kind of got the wheels turning a little bit or was it just like, Drew, what, what was this video? Regardless, I enjoyed making it and hopefully someone out there also kind of is trying to get what I'm explaining. I don't know. This is different. This is different for me. I tried something new, so... Honestly, this video is kind of like a brain fart of ideas and I just let my thoughts come to the forefront. And I think it's important to do that as a, as a creator, as someone who makes videos on YouTube. Not every video is going to be this like super polished, perfect, like concise idea. Sometimes it's important to just get ideas out there and see if they resonate with anyone. And that's exactly what today's video was. As always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2024. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you and more. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto. Peace. So what is good, post vivid? Here's a fist bump for the one time. Bop. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. You know we got to get two fist bumps in. Come on. If you, if you didn't do the first fist bump, do the second one. Okay, here we go. Bop. Thank you, camera. There we go. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. This is a different kind of video, like I told you guys. I've been really enjoying this. I haven't even finished reading this, but I did interview the author, Jason Jules, right here. Um, if you care about my podcast, I had him on the podcast and learned a little bit more about Black Ivy, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, everything's been everything's been good, PVV. Actually, everything's been okay. So the other day, I actually wasn't feeling too well, threw up, which is never fun. And I had some like bad food that I, I don't know, something like food poisoning or something of the sort. And I threw up and that was just not a fun time. Uh, it had been a long time since I've thrown up. Usually like throwing up is just ugh, like, it's just gross. Luckily I was by the toilet, so it didn't make too much of a mess. Sorry if this is TMI, but it, it's true. It happened. So that was literally last night, the, the, the day before, literally 12 hours ago before recording this video. Um, but I knew that I wanted to get this video out to you guys, wanted to get this done for you guys, but it's just been a busy early part of 2024. It's been crazy. Um, I have like a lot of things that I want to create for you guys, but for the post vid vid question of the day, I want to know hashtag PBV down in the comments when you answer, I want to know like what kind of videos would you guys like to see from me moving forward? Um, for the year? Like, is there a specific topic? Is there a specific brand? Is there a specific idea in and around fashion that, you know, you want to maybe um, have me discuss a little bit more? Or if there's a specific question about a particular garment that like how it fits a review of something, anything, let me know down in the comments if there's anything like that, that will be of service or will be of help to you. I would love to provide that for you guys and just Obviously, like I want to create content from a really authentic place, like things that I'm interested in. But also I understand that like it's important as someone who's creating content in a way to help others to actually serve the community if they have questions, if they have particular things that they want to know about. Like I'll do the research. 
I'll make it entertaining. I'll make the videos about it. So just let me know if anything like that is like of interest to you. Other than that, guys, um, it's good. Everything's good. It's it's bright. It's sunny, and I cannot complain about much. So except for the fact that I was throwing up, but I'll be okay. I feel better now, kinda, kinda. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.